What's this thing we're going on again? Fear trip, innit? It? It's going to be well good. No, it ain't. It's going to be boring. I reckon it might be all right, you know? Yeah, it'd be a laugh, wouldn't it? Are we getting a tube? Because I ain't got my pass with me. No, we're getting a coach, innit? How embarrassing is that? No, a coach would be a laugh, man. Yeah, it'd be all right, wouldn't it? <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Do you know who I saw yesterday? Oh, my God. What is she wearing? What is she wearing? I am walking down the street if we're looking like that. That is well shameful. How are we all? Looking forward to a slice of culture. Miss? We're all in for a treat today. Miss? I'm going to give you your tickets now. Miss? I want you to look after them. Miss? And don't lose them. Yes, Lauren? Miss, I'm not being funny or nothing. But have you seen what you've got on? <laughs> You're suggesting I don't know what I'm wearing, Lauren? I don't know, Miss. I thought maybe someone had thrown it at you or something. <laughs> Well, I think it's nice to make an effort once in a while. No, I don't think it is, miss. <laughs> now, the coach is parked by the main gates. Are you going out on the street like that, miss? Gather up all your belongings. But are you going out on the street looking like that, though? Yes, Lauren. Oh, my God, what have you got on your feet? <laughs> I'm too scared to look. <laughs> look at her now, Jesus creepers. That is well bad. I think it's nice to let your feet breathe. Are you a Christian, miss? <laughs> Lauren, get your things together. But are you a Christian, though? We don't have time for this. Right, but are you a Christian? Lauren? <laughs> is the Lord your shepherd, miss? Sorry? <laughs> but is he your shepherd, though? I beg your pardon. Have you got Jesus in your heart, miss? What? But is he in your heart, though? Lauren? Why would you wear clothes like that, then? Lauren! Do you like Cliff Richard, miss? <laughs> Lauren. Are you the Vicar Dibley, miss? Lauren! <laughs> But are you the Vicar Dibley, though? No, of course not. Are we your flock? What? Are we your flock, though? No. Is it that we are your flock? No, you're not my flock. Have you got a friend in Jesus, me? Oh, for goodness <laughs> sake. Does he want you for a sunbeam? Look. Does he want you for a sunbeam, no. Lauren, enough. You're just wasting time now, not to mention being incredibly rude to me. Now get your things together, or I shall suspend you from this trip. <laughs> Am I bothered? <laughs> Lauren, am I bothered, Dad? Look, don't make me do this. I don't do nothing, because I'm bothered. You'll regret this. No, I won't, because I'm bothered. I mean what I say. Do I look bothered? I don't understand why you do this. I don't understand why you wear that. <laughs> Lauren. Oh, don't give me. Come on. Don't give mine. Now, come don't on. Hear mine. Lauren. Don't give mine. Lauren. Don't give mine. Lauren. Don't give mine. Stop oh, it. Oh, it's me for Oh, it's me for give. Lauren, stop it. Don't give mine. Lauren. Don't give. Stop it. Don't give. Come on. Don't give. Stop it. I'm bothered. I don't care. I'm not. 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 I'm not
gay men's health clinic. How very day. <laughs> Don't look at your, um... It's a gentleman's sponge bag. <laughs> Come on, Leonard, we're off. <laughs> Sugar. Okay, we've taken a full statement, and in the light of the information you've given us, I don't feel it's safe for you to go back home. I'm recommending we take you to a refuge where there's other people like yourself. Other people like myself? Is that your answer? Put us all in the ghettos, make sure all the freaks are together. It's not fair. I'm the victim here, not the criminal. I know, Sandra, but we can't protect you from these bigots 24 hours a day. That's why we're offering you a place at the refuge. Thank you. I'm just sick of the inbreds in this stupid village sniggering at me behind my back. I thought about moving to London. You know, where people are more accepting, but then I thought, no. Why should I run and hide? I know it's a cliche, but I am what I am. Come on, Sandra, don't upset yourself. Don't upset myself. The people in the village spit at me. The children throw dogma through the letterbox, and you're saying don't upset myself. It's just not fair. I know, Sandra, but at the end of the day, there will always be those who just can't bring themselves to accept people who are. You can say it, you know. Ginger. <laughs> so where is this refuge? It's just outside Longriston, about 20 miles from here. We can take it there tonight. We have got hair dye, if you don't want people seeing you live. Do you not think I tried that? I dyed my hair and my eyebrows black when I was 15, but at the end of the day... I've still got freckly arms. <laughs> so shall we go then? What's it like? Is everybody there ginger? Oh, not all of them. There are a few normal, non-ginger <laughs> people who work there as well. But there's nothing to worry about. They've been trained to work with ginger people. And some of them even have ginger relatives themselves. We're not saying it's right that you should have to go there. But at the moment, what with the current hate campaigns against Ginga... Sorry, Ginger... <laughs> we think it's the safest course of action right now. Oh, come on, love. Now, come on. Now, don't upset yourself. Come on, let's go. Good girl. Come on. <laughs> It's gonna be all right. There you go. Come on now. Now get that chair wiped down, will you? And make sure someone's here to burn my clothes when I get back. Ali! Hello! Oh my goodness, I've just been in your garden. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Look, I don't believe you've met Yvonne. No, hello, I'm Ali. No. Hi. Oh, oh, you've got something on your face there. Oh, just give it a rub off. Yeah. Is that right? No, I think it's a hair or something. Hang on. <laughs> it's attached. Um, just doesn't. I mean, it doesn't. No, I mean you can't see it. I mean I. I mean I, I mean I. I can see it, but then I. I know it's there. I mean he didn't. See it. He doesn't know it's there. Oh Christ! There's more. Um, <laughs> don't pluck them. Um, two will grow in one. <sighs> <laughs> My nan had a beard. <laughs> well, you might think you had everything. Listen to this. Well, I don't know where to start. Well, where do you start? We was on our way to see our Valder. She just moved to Beverly. She used to live on Branzo. Yeah, they don't need to know that. 
So anyway, we're on our way to see our Valder, and we have to keep stopping because Ray ain't bought his driving glasses. I'm usually all right, but uh, they're just putting a new ring road, so... So anyway, we've stopped again to ask for directions, and we noticed we're opposite a pool. Listen to this. So we thought we'd better have something to eat before we get there, because Valder's one of these vegetarians. They don't eat meat. <laughs> so we cross over to this pub. It looked all right from the outside, didn't it? Oh, famous last words. So we get in, and there's a sign saying it was... What's they call it? A gastro pub. Don't ask. So we sit down and we look at the menu. Listen to this. Well, first thing on the menu was mushroom soup. Well, Ray liked the sound of that, didn't you? Yeah, not for long. But then he read what were in it. Listen to this. When he read what sorts of mushrooms there were. This is unbelievable. What were they called? Dried shit ache mushrooms. <laughs> you went mad, didn't you? Dried shit ache mushrooms. <laughs> You don't want that in soup, do you? <laughs> Shit ache mushrooms dried. You don't want it in anything. Now, I've eaten everything, right, from Whitby crab to gammon with pineapple on it, so I'm not squeamish. But I am not eating anything that has got dried shit in the title. <laughs> no way. This is in Beverly. The dirty bastards. <laughs> I've not told you about it today, have I? What's been happening? I can't believe I ain't told you. Told me what? Have I told you already? Told me what, babe? No, I must have told you. You ain't told me nothing. There is absolutely no way I could have got to 20 past 10 without telling you what's happened to me today. What is it? You are gonna die. Oh, come <laughs> on. I might as well ring the ambulance now because you are gonna die. Come on, you've got to tell me now. I ain't told you, have I? You ain't said nothing. This is quality. Come on, what have you done this time? It's lunchtime, right? I'm out with Kerry and Gay Simon and we're on our way to Gino's. We get there, we're about to go in and Kerry says she don't want nothing to eat because she's doing the Atkins, all she wants is a packet of extra strong mints. <laughs> so I said, well, I'm not that fussed about eating either because I'd gone mad and had an M&S wheat germ tricholori for me breakfast. <laughs> Gay Simon says, in that case, he don't want nothing either because he ain't eating on his own. But nobody wanted anything to eat. Nobody wanted anything to eat. And we stood outside Gino's like a bunch of nutters. <laughs> well, we looked at each other like that. <laughs> As usual, Kerry's the first to go. She starts laughing. I said, I hope you ain't laughing at me, Kerry Baxter. Baxter ain't her real name, but she doesn't talk to her dad no more, so she thought she might as well change it. <laughs> Gay Simon is laughing so much, he's collapsed. No. He has collapsed. It's one o'clock, the three of us are standing outside Gino's, no one's eating, and we are wrecked with agony. <laughs> <laughs> what are you lot like when you get together? Oh, but that ain't it. That ain't it. That, <laughs> that is your starter for tea. Oh, this is unbelievable. So, Kerry says she might as well get her mints from the newsagent. I said I'd go with her, and Gay Simon said he'd come too, as long as he didn't have to eat nothing. So we get there, Kerry buys her mints, Gay Simon gets a newspaper, and I'll buy one of them scratch cards. Oh, here we go. Oh, no! <laughs> Millionaires now, are we? Shut up, don't spoil it! Shall I book the holiday now? <laughs> what you like. So, we're in the shop. I'm doing my scratch card. Gay Simon's looking at his newspaper and Kerry's asking the man behind the counter if there's any carbohydrate in a strawberry mini-milk. <laughs> then, I've looked down at this scratch card. I've only got three pan symbols. No. I swear to God. Well, you won? Three pan symbols. I've won me money back. Oh, my God. <laughs> but that ain't it. I'll give the card to the man behind the counter. He's looked at it like that. He said to me, you ain't one, because all the symbols have got to be in a straight line. Well, they're not in a straight line, though. No. <laughs> one of them's in the corner, the other one's next to it, and I can't remember where the other one is. <laughs> well, we have gone off. <laughs> Gay Simon is double 
muffled up, I'm screaming like a witch, and Kerry's got strawberry mini milk coming out of her nose. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it always happen to you? Afternoon! <laughs> it's a text from Kerry. Oh, here we go. <laughs> What's this say? It says... It says... When are we going to spend your winnings? <laughs> Expecting you. Don't worry. You're safe now. Would you like to bring Sandra through? Um. Through to the other room? Yes. Are there more people through there? Ginger people? Yes, there are. This is a ginger refuge. <laughs> I brought Sandra here because we're short staffed, but I can't. It's not the smell. It's, it's just that I, I'm not qualified to work with ginger people. I'm sorry. We'll get your stuff sent on to you, eh? Sandra, the police are some of the most gingerphobic people in society. <laughs> Don't worry. As I said, you're safe now. Come through. <laughs> Welcome to Russet Lodge. Can we join you, Helen? This is Sandra Kemp. She's just arrived. Hello. Hi. Oh, she's beautiful. Does her mum live at the refuge? I'm her mum. I don't understand. You're not... The ginger gene can skip a generation. Helen is what's known as a carrier. <laughs> Although carriers can blend into society much more easily than gingers, at some point, communities find out. And people like Helen are driven out of their homes, too. So, I'm just like you. I may not be ginger here. But I'm ginger here. Well, I'm glad you could come. It's so nice to see you. Well, to... To be honest, I wasn't sure whether I was going to make it tonight. Buddy! Hello! Come on, you two, get on the dance floor. <laughs> Have you two met each other? No, hello, I'm Ali. Hi, I'm. Shuck your car, let me wreck it. No, I'm. Shuck your car, let me wreck it. No, I'm. Shuck your car, let me wreck it. Sean! God. <laughs> no, I mean, I know... Yeah, no, I was just rapping. Yeah. No, because I know you... You... you you're, because you're Sean with... Hmm? You know it goes if you sing. <laughs> Don't do that! Beautiful service. Mm. Yeah, sure. yeah. 98. You've got to admit, the old bugger had a good innings. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Yeah. I'm sorry, I find that language very disrespectful. I think you should modify your tone.
looking down, it's very cramped in here. Is that you, darling? Hi, Nan. Oh, sweetheart, thank God for that. Are you OK? I came as soon as I got your message. Oh, you are a good boy. How are you feeling? I'm all right, love. Yeah, I'll be all right. Just a bit of a shock, that's all. Yeah. When did it happen? Just after one o'clock. Been sat here not knowing what to do since then. I got here as soon as I could, Nan. No, don't worry, darling. You weren't to know something like this was going to happen. How could anybody know? We all take these things for granted, and then one day, bang, that's your lot. Yeah. Is it just ITV you can't get? <laughs> No, love, it's all of them. <laughs> I've been sat here in silence for the last three and a half hours. Have you missed many of your programmes? Oh, you know me, love, I don't really take much notice. It's just nice to have on in the background for a bit of company, that's all, you know. Yeah. Although I suppose I'll never know what happened to Tanisha. Who's Tanisha? Yell on that Trisha this morning, did you see it? No. Oh, it's unbelievable. She's getting the fat sucked out of her thigh and injected into her backside. Only a young girl she was. I thought they got it the wrong way around at first, but no. She wants to have a bigger ass than she's already got. <laughs> and if you ask me, it was a fair size to start with. You could show fucking cartoons on it. I've got someone coming over to have a look at the telly. He should be here soon. And I've missed me lovely gay boy who takes you to an auction and sells all your old shit you were going to throw out. <laughs> oh, he's clever. It might just be the fuse. Oh, that'll be Danny. Danny who? Oh, Nan, don't start. Danny Shaw. I don't know no one called Shaw. You do? You know his mother, Lou Shaw. She's just come out of hospital. Not Loopy Lou. <laughs> don't you dare say that while he's here. She's been very ill. Not Loopy fucking Lou. <laughs> I've never let her out again, have I? Nan, I'm warning you, he's repairing the telly for free, so don't upset him. For free? No, thank you. I don't want no charity. You can tell him to piss off out of it. I'd rather sit in the dark. Hello, oh, Mrs. Taylor, how are you doing? Hello, sweetheart, how are you? Well, I'm not too bad, thanks. Now, let's have a look at this. Oh, you can take it away, darling. I never really look at it. I'll put the kettle on. Did Jamie check the fuse? Oh, don't bother asking him nothing, darling. He ain't got a job. <laughs> now, I'm not going to charge you for the repair, Mrs Taylor, and I don't want any arguing, OK? Oh, you are a good boy. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> How's your mum, darling? <laughs> I haven't seen her a bite for a while. She's OK, thanks. Ah. She's still up the nut house. <laughs> Nan. Uh, Mum went into hospital for a rest, uh, but she's much better now, thanks. Oh, I am pleased, darling, cos last time I saw your mother, she was down on all fours in the dry cleaners, barking like a dog. <laughs> now, I think you must have her confused with somebody else, Mrs Taylor. No, Loopy Lou! <laughs> Everyone knows your mother. I remember when she got barred out of Tesco's when they caught a pin in the deep freeze. <laughs> that she was. <laughs> Still, I'm very pleased to hear she's feeling better. There you go, Mrs Taylor. It was just the fuse, so I'll be on my way. No, you won't, son. Oh, no. No, you'll take something for your trouble. Now, we've been through this. Uh, 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 now, I won't take your money. Now, be a good boy. It's only a fuse. That's not the point. There's £50. Look, I can't take it. Now, you take it and go and treat your mother to a nice new act. Well, thank you, Mrs Taylor. You look after yourself. Ah. Thank you, sweetheart. Very obliged to you coming out at such short notice. Truly I am. <laughs> what a fucking liberty. <laughs> Fifty pound. Fifty pound. He won't hear five minutes. Greedy little bastard. Man, you offered it to him. He nearly took your fucking hand off. <laughs> For free. Mugged in my own front room. <laughs> oh, and he was such a lovely little boy and all. I remember he used to come up here wearing his little cowboy outfit. Should have fucking kept it on. <laughs> um, 
And a lot of good you were and all stood there worried about what side your hair's parted while I'm getting turned over by a man whose mother eats her own shit. <laughs> Being ginger is who I am. Why should I deny that? You shouldn't. And that's why we're here. We have all sorts of gingers here. Gingers in denial. Confused gingers. Even militant gingers. But they have one thing in common. They don't need to fear the outside world. They're all welcome to stay here in peace and harmony. Oh, 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 oh. Put the bottle down. What's she doing here? She's not even ginger. She's strawberry blonde. I'm as much fun to be here as you. Look at her face. She's not even pale. I'm as ginger as you are. How come you're the only one who uses the garden when it's sunny? <laughs> oh, look. She's getting attacked. All right, everyone, that's enough. Look at us. Look at us. From strawberry blondes to flame-haired beauties, we are all ginger. And if we can't get on with each other in here, what chance do we have in the real world? Duracell. Ginger nut. Carrot top. Copper knob. <laughs> We're used to getting that kind of abuse every day out there. People asking us to move away from areas where food is being prepared. <laughs> Total strangers assuming we're Scottish. <laughs> Forever trawling the streets, trying to find a hairdresser's that isn't fully booked. <laughs> well, not in here. This is a safe haven for everyone and everything, Ginger. Let's keep it that way. going on again? Theatre trip, in it? It's going to be well good. No, it ain't. It's going to be boring. I reckon it might be all right, you know. Yeah, it'd be a laugh, wouldn't it? <laughs> Are we getting a tube? Because I got my pass with me. No, we're getting a coach, innit? How embarrassing is that? No, a coach would be a laugh, man. Yeah, it'd be all right, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you. Do you know who I saw yesterday? Oh, my God, what is she wearing? <laughs> what is she wearing? I ain't walking down the street if I'm looking like that. That is well shameful. How are we all? Looking forward to a slice of culture. Miss. We're all in for a treat today. Miss. I'm going to give you your tickets now. Miss. I want you to look after them. Miss. And don't lose them. Yes, Lauren. Miss, I'm not being funny or nothing. But have you seen what you've got on? <laughs> You're suggesting I don't know what I'm wearing, Lauren. I don't know, Miss. I thought maybe someone had thrown it at you or something. <laughs> well, I think it's nice to make an effort once in a while. No, I don't think it is, miss. <laughs> now, the coach is parked by the main gates. You going out on the street like that, miss? Gamelon, all 